Hi guys, hope you're keeping well. Uh, so this is a follow-up video from my previous one uh, where I gave my view on the statement issued by Mick Gordon, the composer of the music uh, for Doom Eternal and Doom 2016. So um, only, I believe, yesterday, late yesterday, uh, Bethesda have now issued their own counter-statement to some of the um, allegations uh, mentioned by Mick. So I'm going to read the statement in full just because it's not that long. So this is what Bethesda say. The recent post by Mick Gordon both mischaracterized and misrepresented the team at id Software, the development of Doom Eternal, Marty Stratton and Chad Mossholder with a one-sided and unjust account of an irreparable professional relationship. We are aware of all the details and history in this matter and unequivocally support Marty, Chad and the team at id Software. We reject the distortion of the truth and selective presentation of incomplete facts. We stand ready with full and complete documented evidence to disclose in an appropriate venue as needed. The statement posted online have incited harassment and threats of violence against Marty, Chad and the id Software team. Any threats or harassment directed towards members of our teams will be met with swift and appropriate action to protect their health and safety. We remain incredibly proud of its previous collaborations with Mick Gordon and ask that fans refrain from reaching conclusions based on his account and more importantly from attacking any, on the any of the individuals mentioned on either side including Marty, Chad or Mick. So, yeah, Bethesda's now got involved. Um, obviously, if you remember from what Mick mentioned in his statement, it seemed that he had had a quite a positive uh, interaction with Bethesda in terms of getting a contract sorted for the OST to be completed. Um, but obviously, now that he presented his own view of events, now uh, it's Bethesda on behalf of id that have responded. So some interesting things within that statement, obviously they, send, they say that we stand ready with full and complete documented evidence to disclose in an appropriate venue as needed. That to me hints that if it was to go to court or something like that, they would be ready to um, offer what in their view is complete evidence to substantiate uh, their claims. Um, they obviously also feel that what uh, Mick has presented has been selective and has been incomplete. Um, obviously, you know, if Mick is putting his side of the story forward, he's going to be putting uh, elements that substantiate that. That's kind of to be expected. But obviously Bethesda feel that there's uh, it doesn't give a true whole picture of what's actually happened. The... Um, Thing that obviously is not okay and I completely understand why they would have to be a bit forceful with the statement is the fact that there appears to have been um, harassment and threats of violence against uh, not only the id software team but Marty personally and Chad Mossholder who's the lead kind of sound, sound design person in id obviously that's not okay in any circumstance uh, with the internet nowadays, you're always going to get idiots um, trying to be, I don't know, going on some kind of moral crusade and thinking that that gives them the right to be really nasty and vindictive towards individuals. Um, that's not okay at all. And I know, let's, let's um, backtrack a little bit on this. So I know Mick was very specific in his statement around um, n this not having to lead to a hate campaign. But, you know, let's be honest, you know, you, you kind of have to say those things in those kind of statements. You can't be seen as inciting something against someone else. But we all know that if you put something quite inflammatory or maybe not inflammatory, controversial of that, or of that kind of manner on the Internet, you know that there's going to be a backlash towards the other side, right? It's exactly the same as when it posted their statement in 2020. They knew they they knew that it was going to um, uh, you know there was going to be a backlash towards Mick Gordon because of it. The same with Mick. He would have known that this would this would have created some kind of campaign against Id 
it's all right and it's, it's okay kind of saying it explicitly in your statement but to think that that wouldn't happen is just kind of yeah no one no one's going to buy that i definitely don't buy it i think it's uh it's a known thing that would happen but you kind of have to say it explicitly so nothing comes back at you as being seen as having instigated it so so really disappointing to hear about the um especially the threats of violence that's not there's no place for that we're talking about a soundtrack it's a soundtrack yeah in the big scheme of things it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um there's no need for that um the interesting thing i think to look back on and i think my my feeling and my feeling has been hasn't really shifted a bit i mean i i said before in the previous video i aligned myself more with marty when the statement came out because he gave a bit more detail, a bit more background to the situation, and then I could understand where they were coming from. With Mick's statement, I kind of uh, felt more for Mick. Um, I felt the frustration of being a freelancer, working with the big corporation, finding it difficult to actually communicate efficiently with senior people, and being asked to maybe uh, churn out... Um, um, music in an unrealistic manner and not getting paid for long periods of time and things like that so for me you know I, I definitely sympathize much more with um, Mick's point of view and especially as he went into much more detail um, but I still believe and this is my personal view I still believe that the truth probably sits somewhere in between I think uh, the whole picture all the facts will probably never be known um, you know, there's lots of uh, nuance, I'm sure, uh, lots of different viewpoints. Um, I think it was really interesting. I saw a post from a previous ID employee who worked with Marty for about four years, I think. Uh, very glowing um, reference towards Marty's character and the way he, uh, you know, is or was uh, within the organization especially with this employee I guess and I know it's one person's viewpoint and it doesn't necessarily mean that you know a person is a B or C but it does count for something for sure um, because it's someone who's actually been there uh, rather than people who are external or who never had any kind of interaction with someone um, so I do think you know that there's there's probably an element of fault in both sides and let's not forget as well the thing i found quite interesting i went back to marty's original statement uh that he made in in 2020 and it was interesting that the reasons he actually mentions for making that statement um is the fact that there was direct and personal attacks on the lead audio designer so chad um and he just uh yeah he just he just felt that he had to come out and say something um to kind of respond on behalf of him and maybe other staff or maybe the team that had be called into question by fans um so actually it, it seems to me that the original statement came from fan uh backlash fan maybe theories around why the ost was this way or that way um i think mick, mick had mentioned something around you know ah, i don't think we'll be working again uh you know between him and id i mean so i think that led to then fans taking a particular side getting incredibly vindictive and obviously carrying out personal attacks on the internet towards individuals and other people within the team and then obviously as a manager and or as a executive it is marty's also r responsibility and uh it's an expectation i guess if you were if you were within a team and you were getting personally attacked for something that you thought was just completely disproportionate and you'd just done maybe a role in something you would expect your manager to back you and you would expect your manager to come out and try and put the record straight i think where the issue lies for me is that when that statement came out from marty he made it very specific about mick 
so i think if he tried to keep it in a bit more in a bit more kind of general terms um and maybe you know just explain that those kind of threats are obviously completely um completely not okay and that they are you know there were reasons uh, behind the scenes as to why certain things weren't done in a certain way but it's not what the fans think I think maybe ironing out their differences behind the scenes would have been the best option so for me I think that's where the issue has escalated so first I think it, it initiated by um, fan conspiracy or fan discussion that then led turned ugly then Marty felt he needed to come out and defend the team, defend Chad, rightly, in my opinion, because if people start threatening, you, as, a, as, an, as an executive, as the lead person, you need to come out. But then I think it's making it a personal thing against Mick. I think it's slanted a bit too much in that direction. And then that meant that it obviously had a repercussion on Mick's career, Mick's reputation. And then he feels once x amount of years pass um that he now needs to respond to that because he feels that it's damaged the way he's viewed uh professionally and maybe personally um and i think if it hadn't taken that personal slant i don't think mick would have come out and said what he did uh which maybe is incomplete maybe only gives a certain side of it but that's kind of to be expected as i said earlier um so I think behind the scenes, ironing differences out would have been better. Putting out more generic statements would have been better. Um, but we are here. Those things happened. We can't erase the past. Um, I think now that Bethesda have come out, they've made it very clear that they're happy to take things much more seriously and full on if anything was to escalate uh, onto court or anything like that. I'm not sure what else will come from this to be honest now i don't think mick can really i don't know what he can counter argue to that he's kind of put out his version quite detailed out there um so i think for now it's just going to sit like this and then um probably just you know get overtaken by other things in the world or in the game world and it'll just become one of those things that happened um, I see this as being like a bit of a a bit of an end to the to this situation. Um, I think it'll just remain like that. I don't think any other individuals from it will come out and give any personal statements. I think they've probably been been um, after the Reddit post that happened in 2020. They've been advised not to, um, and I think this is now being taken by people way uh, above them. Uh, and who are kind of protecting the reputation of the brand and who are just, you know, they're just, uh, that's their stance. So, yeah, we might never know who's really in the right, who's really in the wrong. Um, I think it's probably a mixture uh, for both parties. Um, it's a shame that it had to get this far. But uh, all I'm saying is that I hope that Mick continues to have a successful career as a composer. I'm sure he will. Um, I think he's got enough, um, you know, of a reputation to be able to carry on with his work. And also, I hope that it continue to make incredible games like they have been doing. And I look forward to their next project. Um, and I just hope that, you know, everyone kind of learns from this, really. I think what what it will probably learn from it is that they won't come out with something so specific uh, in future. Any statement like that. They'll probably keep it much more corporate and above them. And I think, um, yeah, and I think for us as fans, we have to also take some responsibility here. I think there's a lot to be said about how rumours just get, um, can just build up into something else sometimes. Uh, people can just get incredibly angry, irate, passionate about things, and then it can just escalate into something really nasty and ugly. Um, and I think it's just remembering that, you know, us as a fan base, we've played a role in some of this as well. We're not exempt from it, right? Um, so it's making sure that we also try and stay level-headed. Uh, we try to keep our feet on the ground, 
try to see the facts uh, try not to um, go too much with knee-jerk reactions or, or emotions or feelings of this or the other you know uh, the truth is that we, we don't know we don't know it all and we just have to be very careful about how we put our views out there because there's real people behind this issue and uh, when people lash out and be and and are not very nice it really does affect real people in a very very real way these are people with families with jobs uh, with day-to-day -day things that we all have right and this goes for Marty Chad and Mick so we have to try and remember that so yeah thanks for watching guys uh, that's my view on where we're at at the moment so um, hope you all have a good rest of the week and I'll catch you all very soon